Hello and welcome to yet another monthly feature, this time featuring the works of the highly skilled writer Justin Savage. Justin is a poet who delves in the world of emotional writing and his work is so emotionally powerful that it has often left me in complete tears. And he does feel just a little bit uncomfortable reading his own work. So he has asked me to please read his work for him. So without further ado, please enjoy the works of Justin Savage, as read by me, Josh West. Every day I wake. Could you imagine trying to live your life through someone else's eyes? Could you imagine trying to adapt to another perspective of life? Every day I wake. I open my eyes to a life I've never been shown. Every day I wake to voices in my head, consuming my mind until they've overflown. Now every day I wake to an empty mind that doesn't feel my own. I've been medicated, you see, just to fall in line with society. Now I have to adapt to a new reality. From time to time, I stop taking these pills. I let the voices come rushing back, just to remember how it feels. Yes, it's different, but it's my mind. It's attached to every memory. Now I'm told to leave it all behind. Every day I wake, I open my eyes to a mind I've never known. Every day I wake, I open my eyes to a life I've never been shown. Every day I wake to an empty mind it doesn't feel my own. Every day I wake, I start to feel like I'm alone. We are brought to conform with the ways of society, trying to create an artificial peace for a better reality. Yet we push for people to, to be themselves. So who does that make me? Every day I wake, I have to adapt to a mind that's been overthrown. Illusions. Peering through the fog, searching for a reflection, a silhouette on the water, ne feeling the need for reflection. A weightless leaf drops, touching the water, ever so light. Ripples flow past as my reflection disappears into the night. Looking for the moon, a stream of light passes through the trees. Wind changes direction. The light disappears amongst the leaves. The atmosphere is cold as the wind passes by. A shiver runs down, the down my spine as I look to the sky. Illusions aren't real. Life isn't always what it seems. Freedom comes from how you feel. Doctors can't silence the screams. Find your happiness inside. Shine as bright as sunbeams. Create loving memories. Live your dreams. Feeling the connection with life. The illusion isn't real. I take a deep breath and learn to understand how I feel. It only takes a moment. Now I've passed the pain. The leaf has flowed past. My reflection returns again. The wind turns back around. Light streams through the leaves. The atmosphere warms as I'm sheltered by the trees. I take another deep breath, taking in all the beauty around. Every flicker of light, every moment, every sound. Rainbows. It's day 128 and my heart's still in so much pain. I don't know what to think, don't know what to say. Writing's the only thing that will take this pain away. I just want to see you again, Anika J. I feel I will be trapped in this darkness until that day. From the day the doctor told me he couldn't find your heartbeat. I've been so numb, finding it hard to stay on my feet. When I hold your body, cradle your head in my hand. I couldn't believe your hourglass was given no sand. You were so precious, 
so beautiful, so small. Both you and your sister would have had a ball. She talks about you every day, explains how you grew wings and flew away. You live on, rain you live on the rainbows, so colorful and bright. Please take me away from this darkness and into your light. I'm writing this, sitting in your empty room, dreaming about who you could have been and how you would bloom. I'm trying to live on in this numb, cold state of mind. But everywhere I turn, there's a memory of you I find. I'm living through this darkness because I know you would want me to fight. I want you to be proud the day I enter your light. Your drawers are still full of the things you would have worn. Covered in photos of the day my heart was torn. Your cot disassembled, a double bed's in its place. This is where I lay writing as tears roll down my face. In the doorway hangs an angel with a bell. Each time I hear it, I think of you, baby girl.